Module 7 Lunge Free Breathing Skills from the Plano ISD Breathing Academy. This is a very short module. It'll take you around three hours to complete. And the objectives for this module are to examine and analyze free reading skills and how students develop cons concepts of print, alphabet knowledge, handwriting, and how we can support them with explicit and systematic instruction. And of course, towards the end of the module, we will be taking a dive into student data and how to use the data to plan for instruction. The big ideas of this module are number one, the awareness of print concepts and alphabet knowledge is foundational to the development of decoding, encoding, and reading comprehension. Number two, awareness of print concepts includes the functions of print, directionality, letter and word concepts, punctuation concepts, and book concepts. Number three, alphabet knowledge includes letter recognition, letter naming, letter sound correspondence, letter formation, and alphabetizing. And number four, teachers can promote students' awareness of print concepts in these ways. Modeling reading behaviors, offering opportunities for shared reading and shared writing, asking questions before, during, and after reading, calling attention to environmental print, and also scaffolding for developing print awareness. The fifth big idea in this module is that to build students' alphabet knowledge, we can offer multiple daily opportunities for shared and independent reading and also writing, in addition to providing explicit or systematic instruction about the aspects of alphabet knowledge listed in the, in the previous big idea. Number six is the elements of handwriting include posture, paper position, pencil pressure, pencil grip, and letter formation. Explicit and systematic instruction includes teacher modeling, practice opportunities with affirmative and corrective feedback, and these are key to supporting students' development. The last big idea of this module is that teachers can use data from formal and informal assessment tools to inform their instructional decisions. These data tools include inventories, anecdotal notes, checklists, CBMs, or diagnostic screeners. We have some tips and tricks for you as always and number one, look for opportunities to implement small chunks of the modules in your daily instruction. As you go through the module, try to identify one or two aspects that you would like to see implemented in your classroom dig in, take a risk, and go for it. Number two, support your teammates, cheer them up, and lend a helping hand if you can. Number three, I want to tell you that you're halfway through. Be gentle to yourself, keep at it, and do not lose your pace. If you want to know more, we have put here some links, and you can also access this presentation using this QR code. Thanks for watching and if you need to reach me, you can do it via Canvas, we can set up a Zoom meeting, you can give me a Teams call, Outlook, and you can also follow me on Twitter at WCFonte. Thanks for your hard work and commitment and have a great week.